He wears his heart on his sleeve, but can he keep it in his pants? And did he cheat while his girlfriend was sleeping? Bottoms up, we're pouring out that top shelf sandy dirt. On March 3rd, 2023, Bravoverse News dropped that Tom Sandoval has been cheating on his longtime partner Ariana Maddox with their castmate Raquel Levis. According to reports, Maddox was at a Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras show in Los Angeles when she first learned of the affair. Maddox saw an explicit video involving Levis pop up on Sandoval's phone, which led to the discovery of even more sexual text exchanges between him and Levis. As the source told People, this has been going on for upwards of six months. All the while, Tom was sleeping next to Ariana in bed. She was completely blindsided by this. Devastated doesn't even scratch the surface of how she feels. Are you serious? After the news broke, Andy Cohen said on his Sirius XM show that he thinks the affair has been going on since BravoCon 2022. Cohen also noted that he sensed tension between Sandoval and Tom Schwartz during a taping of Watch What Happens Live, noting, Schwartz was looking at Sandoval the entire time, almost for guidance on answers. As of March 2023, Maddox has yet to vacate the $2 million home she bought with Sandoval in 2019. But an insider told People, all of the girls in their friend group are taking turns visiting her around the clock at her house. Everyone's rallying around her. When Tom and Raquel's affair came to light, fans wasted no time searching for clues, and some messy breadcrumbs have since been uncovered. When Sandoval dressed like Levis for Halloween in 2022, fans assumed it was just him poking fun at Katie Maloney's drama with Levis. On Instagram, Sandoval wrote, Raquel has got to stop showing up to Tom Tom. It's embarrassing. The drama with Maloney started when Levis was caught getting cozy with Maloney's ex-husband, Tom Schwartz, at Sheena Shea's wedding. Maloney posted to Insta, she a fangirl, started as a fan of the show and now a fan of the Toms. But Levis seemed to take it all in stride, responding, I admit I am a fan of the Toms. I am definitely a fan of the restaurant. Best vibe, food, and drinks in WeHo, in my opinion. Levis upped the ante by wearing a glittery Tom Tom hoodie to BravoCon in 2022. And then, just days before the cheating scandal broke, she presented Andy Cohen with the now infamous hoodie on Watch What Happens Live. No, wow, but, uh, actually, I love right? this. As if the situation wasn't sticky enough, Ariana had long been a friend to Levis, especially through Raquel's roller coaster relationship with her ex fiance, James Kennedy. With all eyes on Sandoval, his first statement regarding the affair had fans shaking their heads. He posted on Instagram, Hey, I fully understand and deserve your anger and disappointment towards me, but please leave Schwartz, my friends, and family out of this situation. Schwartz specifically only found out about this very recently, and most definitely did not condone my actions. This was a very personal thing. But as a number of fans pointed out, his initial apology made no mention of Ariana. A few days later, Sandoval released Mea Culpa No. 2, posting, Most of all, I want to apologize to Ariana. I made mistakes, I was selfish, and made reckless decisions that hurt somebody I love. No one deserves to feel that pain so traumatically and publicly. My biggest regret is that I dishonored Ariana." Levis also chimed in, writing on Instagram, "'There is no excuse. I am not a victim and must own my actions. I deeply regret hurting Ariana.'" Still, as far as Lisa Vanderpump is concerned, "'But I don't think these apologies really are worth the kind of paper or, or the social media they're written on. I really don't." Sandoval and Lala Kent were at odds way before his cheating scandal was ever revealed. It all started when Sandoval made a harsh remark about Kent and her ex-fiancé, Randall Emmett. Kent shares her daughter, Ocean, with Emmett. And after a number of allegations were made against the disgraced film producer, Sandoval offered, "...maybe she should have known to not, like, get knocked up by a dude like that." After the episode aired, Sandoval tried to walk it back, telling Page Six, "...obviously I regret saying that because I feel like when I was talking like that, I was kind of just dropping down to Lala's level." He then again acknowledged his poor choice of words, but claimed Kent was making the situation more than it was, telling E! News, well, "...because Lala's a bully, so she needs something to focus all of her anger on, and I guess I'm that person." But Kent isn't quick to forgive and forget. "...a bully who's bored." It's like. I wish it would have been more intense than that." Sandoval's friendship with Schwartz began long before Vanderpump Rules ever aired. And when it comes to Schwartz's ex-wife, Katie Maloney, it seems she and Sandoval never see eye to eye. Maloney often felt like the third wheel in her own marriage due to the Tom's brotherhood. "...haven't I heard enough from you already, Sandoval?" 
The tension between Sandoval and Maloney got even worse during season 9, when the Toms were still in the middle of launching Schwartz and Sandys. When Maloney tried to offer her opinions about their business, she was met with criticism from Sandoval. As Ariana said on the season 9 premiere, Tom Sandoval and Katie have kind of always clashed. So I'm not really sure how much he's gonna love the idea of Katie being involved in the bar. Maloney has even more reason to dislike Sandoval now that the cat's out of the bag about his tryst with Raquel. Maloney was spotted visiting Maddox at home amidst the chaos, and alluding to Real Housewives of New York City star Luann De Lesseps' own marital drama, Maloney wrote in an Instagram story, "'It's never going to be about Tom again.'" In season 8 of Vanderpump Rules, tensions between Sandoval and Stassi Schroeder escalated in a major way when Stassi's next-level basic book party went off the rails. Evidently, Sandoval was upset that Schroeder only communicated with Lisa Vanderpump and Schwartz about the event. And the night before the party, Sandoval tore into Schroeder via text. At the event, Schroeder confronted Sandoval, saying, Is there a freaking okay. issue? What is not okay about having a bunch of customers in here okay. buying drinks from your bar? Sandoval insisted he was kept in the dark about how many people would be in attendance, but Schwartz reminded him that they actually had spoken about the guest list. How dare you! How dare you! You selfish, egotistical piece of sh Sandoval then banished Schroeder from TomTom, Tom, noting, She's not gonna do that in my place. Nobody yells like that at yes, anybody. It'll never happen again. Especially me, dude. Oh, dude. Saucy is literally banned. But Schroeder believes Sandoval's had it out for her since season one. As she said on Watch What Happens Live in 2020, I just think Sandoval doesn't like me. That's it. Sandoval has evidently also had drama with Stassi's mom, Dana Schroeder, following Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright's wedding. The issue began when a fan account posted a photo of Sandoval giving out umbrellas to guests on the sweltering day. But in the comments section, Dana offered some piping hot tea, writing, "...not, he refused to give me an umbrella, even when my wonderful future son-in-law, Bo, asked Tom to give me one. He looked right at us and gave it to someone else over and over again, on purpose, with that smirk little smile of his." Sandoval defended himself, explaining that he was in charge of giving every guest an umbrella or a handheld fan, not both, telling Watch What Happens Live. Uh, no, I, I, if she took it that way, it was not any, I, I didn't plan it that way. There's no roller coaster of a relationship quite like the one between Jax Taylor and Sandoval. Dude, stop acting like you're the number one guy in this group, man. I'm the number one guy in this group. Their problems began when Sandoval discovered in season two that Taylor had cheated on Stassi with Sandoval's then-girlfriend, Kristen Doty. Their confrontation ended with Sandoval punching his frenemy to the point where Taylor was bleeding. He admitted to the Daily Mail, I only meant to hit him one time, and then I kept going. While Sandoval served as a groomsman at Taylor's 2019 wedding, Taylor later told E.T. he regretted having him in the wedding party. And after Sandoval's cheating scandal dropped, Taylor was quick to take to social media to blast his former friend. Sandoval and James Kennedy's drama began following Sandoval's split with his ex-girlfriend Kristen Doty. Kennedy began dating Doty following the breakup, and tensions reached an all-time high when Doty called out Sandoval for cheating on his then-girlfriend Ariana Maddox. Sandoval told the Daily Mail that he threw the first punch after Kennedy mocked his age, adding, "...James comes in and squares off to me, sticking his arms out and talking to me when all I'm trying to do is tell Kristen to move on with her life." We've moved well past this moment. Though Sandoval and Kennedy went on to become friends in later seasons of Vanderpump Rules, now the shoe is on the other foot. Kennedy dated Raquel from 2016 to 2021, even proposing in 2021 before calling it quits a few months later. Sandoval even helped plan and pay for Kennedy's elaborate proposal. When the Sandoval and Levis situation was made public, Kennedy was quick to call out his former friend. The gossip account Dumois shared a DM from Kennedy that alleged, Oh, it gets darker. Seven months. In the house. Ariana sleeping. Looks like we'll have to take his word for this for now.